How do we agree on what's for dinner every night? By changing it up and with HelloFresh. HelloFresh keeps our taste buds on their toes with 40 chef-crafted recipes to select from every week, from family-friendly to fit and wholesome. You'll always find new and exciting recipes to try and love. We take turns choosing which recipes to order each week and have so much fun cooking and trying new food together. Between the three of us, our schedules can get pretty crazy, and HelloFresh makes it easy for us to eat healthy and spend quality time together in the kitchen. Go to HelloFresh.com 50camera and use code 50camera for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com 50camera for 50% off plus free shipping with a code 50 camera good morning campers welcome back to the cut the camera podcast it is nick cerniolo matthew cerniolo yes yes matt and i'm chris though really yep okay i didn't well, change today um by the time this episode comes out or like right after this episode comes out i don't know when this episode is going to come out but we are about to or just turned 20 makes me damn a- Oh my god, that was loud. It makes me sick, honest to God. That's crazy. It doesn't excite you? No. It's not an exuberating feeling? No, it's actually a very sad feeling. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So basically, Does my overall, hair look nice? Yeah. Yeah. You look cute. Okay. Chill. But basically, overall today, we're going to talk about birthdays and just, you know, that special day. Yes, that <laughs> special day that comes only once a year. Mm-hmm. No, for real. It does come. Isn't it crazy that birthday's technically just once a year? I just can't believe that I've is... experienced almost or about to 20 birthdays. I was telling you. I always think about that. I think of like, I've experienced 20 birthdays, 20 Christmases, 20 Halloweens. But I don't I don't remember it all my Halloween like costumes. It just I've done Halloween way more than everything else. Yeah. Do you feel that Christmas way? Christmas no? feels the most frequent. Yeah, to I me. feel like I do Christmas like every minute. Yeah, Christmas feels like a lot. Like maybe I feel it's like just because I spread so Christmas. much holiday cheer throughout the entirety yeah, okay, of December. Yeah. That maybe I'm dead serious. All right, I don't need a yeah. Okay, talk about no, holiday real. cheer. Nick's a very cheerful person. Thank you. Yes. I think because of how much I strive to spread holiday cheer, it kind of blurs the lines between Christmas and mm, just genuine that's big. joy. That's big. Yeah, that's crazy. That's huge. I don't know what you're saying, man. No, go ahead. You're I can't fine. believe it's that crazy to you that I spent You're fine. No, cheer. what was I going to say? I was actually, wa- like, I saw an ad this morning for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I showed you guys both. It made me really emotional because, like, this is the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that's coming out, like, when I'm not going to be a teenager and not in a good way, you know? Like, I know there's one that probably came out when I was, like, 12. You know what I mean? Not mm. a teenager, Chris, but like, at least all, I'm young. All the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, every single one of them, are younger than you. Yeah. That's like, crazy. I'm an old mutant turtle. If I was, if like, yeah, I like, if they made a remix and you were in it, you'd be like an old, disgusting, rotting. And like, what's it called? I want to do voice acting and shit, like low key in the future, because I think it would be funny. Mm-hmm. But they were talking about how all the voice actors for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they're like, oh, we wanted to be authentic. Like, we just picked all teenagers. Damn. Damn. And like sometimes they pick adults. Like that's crazy. In the past Damn. Ones, and I'm just like, like so I, you're that's crazy. Fucking doomed if you were ever gonna be. A teenage like I just Ninja lost Turtle. my chance to happen. be a teenage mutant Ninja Turtle. You'll be fine. There's so many pluses that come with getting older. Not really. I was just trying to make you feel better. Honestly, yeah. yeah. It's all good though. Like, cause you know it shit happens. <laughs> Life goes on. I feel you, fool. That's all that matters. Very true. Okay, speaking of birthdays, though, what do you think has been the most memorable birthday you ever had out of all 20? Oh, man. This is a... Dude, my nose is itchy. I gotta put a hat okay, on. Okay, scratch your nose and answer my question. I think 18. Which one did we do? We were in Florida at Nate. Oh, oh, yeah. That one was awesome. Oh, yeah. Because I remember waking up. I think Outer Banks came out like a week before. It did. It did. So we all watched Outer Banks in the hotel room till like really late at night. And then we woke up on our 18th birthday and went straight to 7 Eleven. I got a scratch ticket, lost. But then we just had a great fucking day. Dude, talk about your scratch ticket probability. My scratch. Oh, I'm. Um, it's actually insane. Okay, it's so, like actually a little concerning. I don't yeah. promote gambling at all whatsoever. Don't do scratch tickets. You'll lose. That's how you waste all your money. But. Every once in a while. Every it's once fun in a while, just... like with when I'm like with a new friend or like we're all going to gas stations or with a certain crowd of people, I'll buy a scratch ticket and then I'll be like, whatever we win off this scratch ticket, everyone that's here that was in the gas station while we got it gets to share the money. Well, not strangers. 
No, all the people that we go yeah, in but with. The way you yeah, said like that. if it's like us three and a couple of friends, we'll all like. Yeah. Like one time, me, Matt, Nick, and Nathan, Nathan. walked into a gas station. And I said, Matt, I'm feeling really lucky tonight. And, and we got said, a scratch yeah. ticket. It was twenty dollars. We each put five in, and we won five hundred dollars. So we each got a hundred and twenty. Yeah, but it's kind of crazy because like dollars. every single time Matt has done this, he's profited, I'm, which is like I'm, really weird. I'm, Probably the only person in profit from scratch tickets, like, and it's a and lot. It's a, it's like a it's like a thousand dollars. No, I think yeah. I'm like I think I'm like eight hundred dollars in like, profit on scratch tickets. Like that's an insane lot. Even I'm pretty sure, like for our actual 18th birthday, someone got us each like one dollar scratch tickets, and, and I won, won fifty like, five bucks. bucks. Now I won fifty. That's crazy. Yeah, the probability is insane. I feel I hate the ones that are all complicated. Like, give me a no. Trait. Just tell me like, what numbers I, I gotta match. Question whether or not I just won like a hundred k or not. You know what I mean? Like, That's never gonna happen. Imagine scratching it and thinking you won a hundred k. Oh my god! No, I think getting someone a fake lottery ticket. Oh, that's oh. like nightmare. You deserve nightmare, everything nightmare, nightmare. wrong to happen. That's to you gotta for the rest be like the worst because that's prank like peak of do. life. You're getting free. Like you, you just got yeah. free money and then you're yeah. just shot yeah. down. Oh my god! If someone did that to me, I would. Oh my! I'd immediately it's read so the back. I always read fake. the back when I because, win because I'm no, like, "There's no what's way." It called? They, like the fake tickets have to like really express that they're fake because then it's like it's like selling fake money as a joke. You know what I mean? It has to be like prop money. Like you can't really do that. So like the back is so obviously fake. Like it. I just it like I, I don't fake. like that vibe. But like you have to be scummy to do that. A little dirty. A little I oh my god! Mixing it in with a bunch of real oh, ones. Oh, terrible. That would be bad. Like, if I got you a bouquet of scratch tickets and then put, like, the fake one at the bottom. That's oh, terrible. That would be really upsetting. What a poor soul. Yeah. That would be terrible. Anyways. But, no, that, what you, we were talking about what birthday was the best, right? Yeah. I said 18. 18 was fun. I or feel 19, like when Nate 19 flew was here. unreal. One of the best birthday parties that I remember was, um... Just going to Florida every year. Like, even the ones before that. Like, we, yeah. we didn't Florida, really have many. We went to like, Florida when we were 9, 10, 17. We kind of did a lot 18, of, like, trip 18. birthdays. You never really had, like, party parties. We had parties when we were younger. Yeah, yeah like, jump on in, Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese. Chuck e. Oh, Cheese. my God, Chuck E. My Chuck the E. Cheese. ticket blaster. Okay, I was actually. Oh, the ticket no, blaster. No, 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 no. The ticket blaster, yes. was, the ticket blaster was ruined for me. What? And I know this sounds crazy. Bro. Sorry, I was gonna say that battle work. Okay, well you already did. So no, just, go. just go. Okay. The ticket blaster was ruined for me because I get secondhand embarrassment really, really easily. If somebody does any type of thing that's like embarrassing or like they like mess up a little bit, like I'd obviously I don't make it like a big deal, but in my head I'm like, damn, that's so embarrassing. And I remember being like, I think he was our eighth birthday at the Chuck E. Cheese. I think it was nine. But okay, right. nine. No, it was ten. But either, first double digit birthday. Change. No, no that was first Florida. double digit birthday was Florida. Really? Yep. Yeah. Oh. But so like, that's why I think it was. If nine. I was nine years old, this this must have stuck with me because of how like. Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Second in embarrassment. So uh, when you go to Chuck E. Cheese, only the kids whose birthday it is get to go on the ticket. Oh my ticket god! Blaster. I'm already like shaking a little. Right. I right. Know, I know what this is going. And some kid that was at our party, like after Nick went. Like, it was Nick, and then me and Chris were in the line after Nick, and he just kind of, like, squeezed by me and, like, tried to get in it. And then, like... Oh, it's not your day, And then they were just like, oh, no, you can't do it. And then he was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And then I went in, and then Chris went in, and then he tried to go in after. Oh, dude, learn your lesson. And then I was just like... Oh, this is Dude, so bad. I feel like bad, the ticket blaster so is so like it's like the most advertised thing ever. Mm-hmm. Like, but for who Chuck was e. it? Cheese. I'm not gonna say. You got it. I'll tell you after. Okay. Yeah. Remember. I, sure. No, I know. I vividly remember because you guys. I'm gonna say it, and you guys are gonna be like, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. But like, I felt so embarrassed because he just like Dude, he yeah. ran up all, all the way yeah. over there and he was like, "Oh, I'm going in there." What's the best birthday food or dessert? Um, ice cream cake. I feel like pizza is a birthday classic. In yeah, my obviously. Oh. Pizza See, and soda. See, I just like food a lot. That like things that people usually only get on their birthday are like my daily food. Cons- oh yeah, same here. But like, it always tastes better on your birthday. Disagree. Not uh, disagreed. Um, I don't know. It's like vibe. It you know? is vibe. No, I loved like when like our mom is amazing, and she's always like, even though we have the same birthday, and we would have like the same party most of the time. She would try and like make oh, it. Oh, you skipped to my question. Okay, but I was answering. I'm trying to answer this other one. New question. Hold on, no. 
Because she used to try to make it as individual as possible. So she would get us each a separate cake. Yeah. Like so what that, I was going to say. that cake would always taste good as fuck because it just wasn't your yeah. guys. You know what I mean? That was my other question. It was what is what was it we like? We get it. You had another question. Nick, shut up. How do we agree on what's for dinner every night? By changing it up and with HelloFresh. HelloFresh keeps our taste buds on their toes with 40 chef-crafted recipes to select from every week. From family-friendly to fit and wholesome. You'll always find new and exciting recipes to try and love. We take turns choosing which recipes to order each week and have so much fun cooking and trying new food together. Between the three of us, our schedules can get pretty crazy, and HelloFresh makes it easy for us to eat healthy and spend quality time together in the kitchen. And if you're like us and you're hungry like all of the time, HelloFresh lets you add snacks, sides, and more to your weekly order. Just simply shop the HelloFresh market and take your pick from a curated selection of over 100 add-on items. HelloFresh makes it super easy for us to have the snacks we love with us while we're filming at the studio and on tour. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50camera and use code 50camera for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash 50camera for 50% off plus free shipping with a code 50 camera well you fucking skipped holy you shit oh wait before earlier when i was talking to matt and i like almost interrupted him i always thought that grimace was one of like Chuck E. cheese's pals no i'm like, I, I, didn't said this, grimace was I said this from to chris. McDonald's. i said this to chris that's actually no crazy. i said this to chris listen when the grimace shake first came out i literally said to chris i was like i feel like i've seen this dude at Chuck E. cheese before and i looked i looked him up the Chuck E. Cheese people and the McDonald's people like the same are like vibe. very, very, very yeah, similar. A bird. McDonald's is a hamburglar, but Chuck E. But Cheese, Chuck e. Got, Cheese the got a rat. chef with like the oh. hat on. Oh, that, yeah. Like, they're the same color. They're just like very similar, very and same that, art like, style. They both like, got like chickens. No, it's a, it's the no, early the bird. Early bird, yeah. Is McDonald's. Chuck no. Oh, early bird's McDonald's. And then there's one that's like, it's like Cha Cha or something. I don't know. Or Chicky. What about Something Mayor McCheese? Mayor McCheese. That's Nick. But I go think, ahead. What were you saying? Your other question. I was saying, what was it like growing up as triplets and having like the same exact birthday? Like, how was that like um, for us? I feel like people are curious. For me, it was like people were always like, my birthday's like my special day. Like, I, I need my birthday to be like an individual thing for them. But it's like, you, your birthday is your birthday because you were born that day. Okay. It or not. This is going to so sound for me, crazy. Sh- shut up. For me, like, you're born that day. Like, that's why people celebrate their birthday. So for some people, it's, like, special because they're the only one that gets to reminisce on that day. But for me, I never minded sharing a birthday with you guys because we were all born that day. Like, you guys were- I'm about to say something that could be- I'll, it makes sense in my he's head, just, but this yeah, motherfucker yapping, keeps yapping, yapping. Me. You know what I mean, though? Like, people are like, oh, birthdays are special because it's like, oh, only I was born this day. Like, they want it to be all about them. But for me, it was like we were all born that day. Like, there was no getting around it. Like, I never Matt, really cared about being okay. an individual on my birthday. Fuck you both. I hate you. I wish I had my own birthday. Don't scream like that ever again. Fuck you. Go don't. Ahead. Don't. Go like, ahead, that's Matt. so embarrassing. This is ridiculous. Like, insane. Go. Um, I'm trying to, like, really rethink what I was just about to yeah, say. you just interrupted me the whole time. I was going to say, I feel like people that, Who like. Asked? Never mind. No Ask the cares. next question. Nick. Stop being annoying. Matt, no, actually go. ask the next Matt. question because it's not even relevant anymore. Go ahead. Yeah, because it, w- it was only relevant when you were trying to say it over me. Go ahead, Chris. How fun. Well, you're just not. You're an idiot. I hate when you like talk to not make sense. I wasn't trying to not make it's sense. It's weird. You go ahead, your Chris. ears clearly weren't fully on. If you were trying to interrupt me the whole time I was speaking, clearly you weren't listening. Motherfucker, I'm talking about the ones attached to your head, idiot. <laughs> I know that the headphones are on your ears, idiot. If you're trying to interrupt someone the whole time they're speaking, clearly you're not going to gather what they're saying. You know what I mean? Like you're not listening if you're just fucking at, trying to talk over the person. You're already disengaged, so no wonder you don't get what I'm trying to say. You fucking idiot. Wow, that was a lot. Is just talking about You should talk about it. How did that make you feel? No, go ahead. I'm waiting for no, the next tell question. No, just you were dying to say. I don't have anything to say. How ironic. Next question. What's your favorite arcade game at, like, the arcades? Matt? Don't do this. No, I'm just curious. Don't do this, Nick. Nick. I swear to God, I'm you're going to ruin this him. podcast. Don't do him. this. Go ahead. Um, Mine's the basketball one. I was going to say. I love that one. Like, like the it. metal chain. It just sounded great if you were getting shot after shot. Boom, boom, boom. Ski ball is so overrated in my Mom opinion. Mom loves ski ball. Don't say that. Yeah, but it's overrated. Okay. It she is overrated. Like, she's like older, so it's like, oh, yeah. I'm being honest. 
a lot of like older people love Ski Ball because it was like one of the first it's arcade a classic. Games. Yeah, that's true. I like Down the Clown, but I hate when they Down like, the Clown's fire. I don't like Down the Clown when it's like missing a bunch of the balls. It's like, how are you gonna make me? I like pay a my... lot of the games that you can play with like two people. Yeah, those you know? are always fun. Air hockey, mm-hmm, classic. Mm-hmm. The f- I'm not getting down with four way air hockey though. When it's like the in the four corners, sides, weird. Like, that was a lot. Too much. You when can only add it. Like, you only like, play that once or twice. Much. You know what yeah. I mean? One of my favorites is when the ball is spinning around and then you have to stop it and then it lands in the color and you have to yes, guess what ball draw. The color w- ram, oh. uh, it's like color wheel. Yes, yeah, that, that one's, one's a lot fun. of fun. That's I so actually, fun. I absolutely love that one. Yeah, that one's really good. That's like an absolute classic. Pac-Man, great oh, game. Oh, I'm, I'm gnarly at Pac-Man. Like, it's kind of an I feel like you claim that talent. title, but you're really not. No, I really am. No, I don't think you are. You, It's crazy that you're just saying that because we're like on like the air or whatever, like on podcasts, like you're just like, trying to make me no, seem Nick like I'm not that No, Nick always is talking like he's the but king I am of Pac-Man. Good. Have you seen that guy on that yeah. in love with Pat? Yeah, he, like I've is seen in it. love. Don't like, yeah. He, he went to the counter and asked for quarters. He's like, Do you have quarters that I can sacrifice to the big yellow one? Like that's insane. It's like, actually you're insane. weird, dude. And some no. dude literally was saying, um, he's like sexually aroused by Pac-Man. Imagine someone is like, in, like an arcade on by Pac-Man, Pac-Man and they just like got a boner. That's crazy. Well, I mean <laughs> that's insane. But the dude is actually like he was like bricked up because of the big Dude, yellow one. Did you see him like that's kind of crazy? He like ran up and like yeah. hugged the machine, and the guy and, like, was like, "Hey, don't pull the great yellow one out of the wall!" Like, yeah, like he's that's like, crazy. I saw some guy say he feels bad because the guy's rough with the machine. Like he's like clicking the buttons, crazy. All right, like, next question. Yeah, that's just crazy. crazy. This is getting out of hand. That was your guy's fault. Did you got when it was how, no one's fault? Hey, Nick. shut up, Matt. How early ahead did you know your birthday outfit growing up? Um. I'd say I was just dripping every day, so it didn't really like matter. I'd say no like, more than like a week and a half in advance. Week and a half is a very long time. To yeah, your outfit. no more than a fucking full week, week and, and a half. half. Like, like that was like, the longest it was. I think like did we ever match on our birthday or no? I don't know. I feel like maybe, maybe young, color young, young. Maybe color coordinate. Yeah, I heard you. Good. I feel like I cared more about how I was looking on the first day of school than I did my birthday. Agreed. I agree. Like the first day of first school. First day of school fit, I was planning the whole summer. Mm-hmm. No, legit, the whole summer I was trying to figure out what I was going to wear. It's crazy because growing up, I always liked clothes and like what, like wearing stuff and like style and all that stuff. But I really don't think I had good fits till like last year. And it's like I always, in like growing up when I like couldn't afford as much and like just had like whatever clothes, I would hate jeans. You know what I mean? Because I would buy jeans, but I would never wear them. Like, I, I honestly, wear them once or twice. I don't think I could repeat any outfit that I wore in high school confidently right now. No, I agree. I couldn't either. I'd look so I scary. Wore, I wore the same five pairs of sweatpants that I got from Old Navy on rotation every day. Yeah. See, I always had, like, I was like, dude, I had, like, Vineyard Vines t-shirts and, like, three pair of Nike sweats and, like, like a pair of shoes. And that's mm-hmm. what I would wear every I day. I just, would, I like color a lot when I'm wearing clothes, but I just recently am finding out how to, like, actually match colors. Like, when I was little, I'd wear just, like, patterns on, like, another pattern. Dude, that's always thing, a scary another thing. Another thing that I've been learning. Like stripes this way on your shirt and stripes this way on your pants. Another thing that's, that's honestly crucial is like what material you match with what. You know what I mean? Like you can't be like you can't mix like leather and like corduroy. You know what I mean? Like that's devious. Well, no, one time I bought pants and a jacket and I didn't realize they were both corduroy. I had to change my outfit because I looked because it was also like different. You should look like a big corduroy. teddy bear. Yeah, it was a little scary. Oh, my God. I love that one. The book. Is it a yeah, book? Yeah, he's missing the button on his overalls, corduroys, That's overalls. a beautiful book. Yeah. Is it corduroy overalls or just corduroys? I'm pretty sure it's a really big it's message It's corduroys the it. bear, but he has overalls. Like the message oh, in yeah. it is deep, I believe. We should reread that. We should. For like a pod. Okay. We should do a whole like teacher pod, like reading books to the to the audience. Like, like and then how the teachers flip okay, the Okay, I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. What was the best like tangible gift or message or like... What is the best thing you received on your birthday? It doesn't have to be tangible. It could be like a card. Or that is tangible, but it doesn't have to be like like valuable in price. You know what I mean? Because usually when people are like, oh, what's your best gift? Like people would automatically be like, oh, when I went to Disney World because it's like the most expensive. But I'm talking like most memorable piece of thing for your I birthday. I think honestly, for me, my answer is last year. Nathan Nathan got us a um a photo album with all of our photos like growing up together. Oh, I wasn't gonna say that. And that was like the best but gift. But that I've was ever a received. great gift. What were you going to say? I was going to say Laura 
and Maddie flying Nathan out that's here. That's not ta- tangible. He we weren't, no, we weren't kind of saying like, tangible. No, no, I, he literally see, no, no, said, I worded it wrong and I said tangible first, but then I corrected myself and said like best piece of just like like best thing that has happened. This is something like, like fucking see, I, he, format. He, he fucked this up. Yeah. He's well, just no, talking. because I was just trying to make it. Did you like, not? He legit said like tangible. I item. said tangible, but like I fucked up because I heard I, something with the most message. It doesn't or matter. Something. That's yeah. what I heard. I don't Both know what he's talking about. My answer would be Matt's answer, but I picked the tangible. No, it's item, fine. Both of those ahead, are good Matt. answers. Both of those are good answers. I'm sorry. Let's just do the tangible route. What's besides that? tangible? Um, it's because like I wanted to say tangible, but tangible. I was also thinking like cards, like words. Like, if someone said something to you, like, I count that as, like, a gift. Like, the gift of their word. So, I tried to, like, revert back from the word tangible. Because I didn't mean that. You really need to get this figured out. Because if we're going to do a whole podcast okay, together, I Okay, I just didn't you, know like, what I meant. It was an accident. But this is, like, all the time. Like, Spare me. You're just Spare goofy. Spare me. And then you say shit like that. Like, Dear that's weird. God, you're just annoying. You're goofy. I try my best. Whenever we're ready. Go ahead. Um, I think mom and dad gave me the van for wh- one of our birthdays. That's a good gift. Mm. Really good gift. Brand new car. Yeah. Well, it wasn't brand new, but car. It was a car. So. Go ahead, Nick. Answer the question, you fucking idiot. Oh, oh my goodness. You're crazy. You're just, like, annoying. Dude, I got allergies. I'm, like, blowing my nose. You're... No Go ahead, cares. Nick. I'd say from, like, in all of high school, me and this girl who were really, really close friends at the time were, like, traded back and forth, like, letters every year. Oh, that's beautiful. For each other's birthday. And I would look forward to that a lot. That's beautiful. And we're still good friends. But like, we stopped doing that in high school. I remember when Nick sad. started complaining about gifts he got. Like, what? Yes, right away. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I'm so fucking sick and tired of being on this podcast I with Nick. I just didn't do that. Like, Nick was the type of kid that, like, if you got him a gift he already had, he'd be like, oh, I already have that. That is not true. <laughs> that is not no, true. No, I'm kidding. I actually... Hey, Nick, I'm messing no, no, with you. No, no, I know. I'm going to say something. I wow, would... hold on. You look really good in the yellow shirt with, like, the all pink background. Thank you. Like, the contrast, Thank like, you. it's giving lemonade, like... Thank you. Yeah, like, like your like lemonade in the background is pink okay, lemonade. Okay, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. I would never, ever, ever be upset with someone getting me something as long as it put for thought but i do remember one of the most like heartbreaking feelings with a gift i received is when someone got me a hat because i never ever wear hats so it's like for you to get me a hat it's like not even like it's always like oh the thought that counts but it's like that doesn't even you bought there me no something thought. but there's no thought you know what yeah, I, mean? I feel like, like i feel like when you get a gift from somebody like it always tells how much they actually listen you know yeah, what i mean because it's like to get me a hat is kind of just like to like, you have to not pay attention at all to anything. Like, I wear a hat, like, once every, like, nine months as a joke. Unless it's, like, a funny hat. Like, if you got me a cowboy hat or something, now I sound like a bitch. Because I'm, like, saying, like, what hats are options. But, like, if you got me, like, a dead-ass hat no, to, like, sh- wear. No, but this girl like, got you, like, a winter hat, right? Yeah. That made me upset. Yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, what's, um, are you a gift giver or a gift receiver? Like, what do you I like more? I love giving gifts. I feel like I like giving them more because, um, like, when I receive gifts i don't have much of like a um bubbly answer yeah i don't have like yeah. a good rea- i don't have a i'm the worst person to like give something if you want a reaction out of them yeah i agree i'll be like yeah you've too. been uh-huh. surprised with like a brand new vacation i'd be like That's oh it. thank shit. you so much like, like i'm genuinely jumping for joy inside my soul but yeah. my outside expressions i also really just weak. love the idea of like you giving someone something see i'm a true believer of gift giving all year like yeah i really yeah. I, I just get shit when i think of the people you know what i mean no literally like, i don't and wait I, I was literally gonna say like sometimes it's hard because like someone's birthday could be in like july but i'll think of something for them like six months prior oh that's and always want to wait and then i won't have an idea for their actual birthday yeah you know what i mean but like, i that's why like i give gifts like year round and i just enjoy like seeing something and it like makes me think of that person but i don't know that's why, like, required gift giving on, like, birthdays and holidays kind of throws me off. Because it's, like, sometimes it's easier to be, like, gift giving all year. It's crazy because, like, I go into birthdays expecting nothing. Me like, too. I don't want a thing from anybody. I forget that it's a thing And then I get surprised that, dude, that's another thing with, like, having a birthday that's, like, on August 1st. Or, like, having a birthday on the 1st of the month. It doesn't feel like it's our birth, like, t- at least in my opinion. It doesn't feel like it's going to be my birthday till August 1st. No, I agree. Because, like, because the buildup is at the end of the month. 
Like, oh, like we're you're in, here in July, 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 and, and then, then it's bang. Just, oh, August, your birthday. Like, yeah. if it was, like, August 7th, then it would get August 1st. You'd be like, oh, my God, like, six days away. But, like, yeah. because it's the first of the month, it always comes, like, Well, because I always forget how many me. days are in a month. Yeah. Like, I'm like, how many days is July And then I forget that my birthday's actually near, and I get all excited. But then I... Yeah. Then, now, I've never been more sad for a birthday in my life than this year. Oh. Yeah. I just don't want it to be here at all. Like, I, I hate the idea of being 20 years old, like, so much. Like, I was saying about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's just, like, whatever. Crazy. I can't believe that that's your go-to for this whole thing. The teenage it makes Mutant sense, Ninja though. Turtles. No, because I was already sad about my birthday, and then I saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then the whole idea of this ad was them talking about how, like, we've never seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like, really express themselves as teenagers. This, that, t- teenager, teenager, teenager. Like, it's like, you know, when, like, SpongeBob's in the fucking thing and it's like crying daddy crying he's like like he gets all overwhelmed like no. that's how i felt I like know. i just felt overwhelmed <laughs> whatever you'll see the clip. i also what's it called i have just i i'm not really thinking of turning 20 and not being a teenager because i felt like i've been 30 for like three years no these last two years i've definitely felt more grown th- and for people sure. are like oh have you seen the way you guys act in vlogs and car videos it's like yeah i felt more grown but i'm not a fucking loser. Correct. Like, I'm still funny. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. I feel like there's grown in different, like, aspects of things. Why don't you speak? I s- Come I, on. I feel like there's, like, grown in different aspects of things. Like, I feel Tell like... Tell us more about that thought. You Holy talk like there's, like, fuck. a Fortnite trap above you and you're, like, scared to move. Like, what? On. Those are those go off just off of, like, you don't have to move. So yeah, I know, Fortnite but trap. Matt's talking like he's, like, fucking, like, a baby right now. Because Nick gave me a fucking headache. Yeah, but you... That's no one's fault, but you're, you're still own. in the fucking you're trying podcast to interrupt room. Me. Like, let's actually... You, yeah. Okay. You can't handle the smoke. Get out the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. You were. No, I'm not. Now the side effects of the kitchen are still in play. You're but go fucking ahead. annoying. What does that even mean? I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. Have you ever wanted to learn a new language to impress your friends? Babbel is here to make it happen. Say goodbye to long, boring language courses and say hello to Babbel's conversation-based technique to learn useful words and phrases that you'll actually use in the real world. We love learning random phrases from other languages and using them in conversations with our friends and might even sneak some into our podcast. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor or trying to learn on language apps that feel more like games, Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash triplets. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash triplets, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash triplets. Rules and restrictions may apply. Isn't oh, that a shame? No, I do. Go ahead. I said I feel like there's like grown on different aspects of things. Like obviously mm-hmm. like when there's a time and a place to be serious and in being with like you guys and just joking around isn't one of the times we're gonna sit there and be like oh stop making those jokes we have to be men about well, sometimes this you, uh, you just did that so that's kind of a crazy thing for you to say right now i'm doing that because you gave me a fucking headache like, and you're screaming to, like, for no fucking you, reason you, you're like it's what's not the, time to be what's serious the best just age you that you've ever lived matt Stop like directing the well, question. No, like answer it for your you. fucking self, and then I'll well, say. No, I did after. ask you. Like I looked yeah. you dead in the eyes. Okay, then I'll answer. Go but like, I gotta think Matt, about it. Go. I just don't have that Matt. number on the top of my head. Go. Um, Chris, do you have an answer for that yes, question? Yes, I do, Nick. Okay, I don't really remember any ages before like nine years old. At all. If you can't, okay, I'm sorry, but you can't go talk, talk, talk with your yeah, hands. Yeah, if y'all, if, if for like, those this is a podcast, yeah, for right? those just listening, Matt just did the hand motion like Nick was talking too much. And, and I wasn't even talking, first of all. Like, we have a mic in our fucking hands. Like, we're supposed to talk. Like, You're this is a, crazy. the whole point of a podcast. But no, anyway, I don't remember any, like, birthdays before nine years old. Or, like, like any You don't ages. remember when we returned one? Shut the fuck up with the goofy shit. No, neither do I. But I anyway, just anyway. <laughs> like you're yes, just... <laughs> Matt laughed at me. I remember like like thirteen was fun. Like first year as a teenager. Um, what is twelve? Not a teenager. Thirteen. Holy shit. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, Fourteen. Fifteen. 15, Sixteen. Wow. Seventeen. I-, I gotcha. Okay, you can really calm the fuck down. Um, 
There's only that. seven years as a teenager. Yeah, like that that's what I don't fuck with. That's why I was caught off guard. Well, no, because I just did the math because I'm like, wow, 13 to 19. That's seven years. Like, that's not a lot. Thank you. Like, you're only a teenager for seven years. Like, that's so- that sounds kind of bogus. And they're some of the most shaping years of your life. Well, if you think about it, if you go, like, from kindergarten. Hold on. I want to hear Matt's answer. 16. You go from Sorry, kindergarten. 16? Yeah. Tell us about being 16. Why is that your favorite? Because it's the brink of being an adult, but then also being a child at the same time. I in love my opinion. that answer. That was a good answer. Like, and it was like taken a, year, a little bit more I seriously. I feel like we had mostly taken away from us, and it honestly shaped us to who we are. What? Like, if you look back so at we it, weren't House anywhere. Fire. That wasn't 16. 16 years old. No, it wasn't. Yes, it that was, was 2019. That was 2019. How old are we in 2019? I'm not disagreeing with you. We were 15 to 16, yeah. Oh, okay. See, I wasn't disagreeing with you, so get the fuck out of my face. You just both disagreed with me. I didn't disagree with you. I was just trying to think about it. I was it. disagreeing with you because I thought you you were talking about COVID. And I was just going to say that was like 17, 18. I feel like my life's a blur. Like all four of those years feel like one minute. I agree. Like it's 2023. COVID was 2020. That's three years. We're 19. No, we did the math. We understand. Yeah, thanks. All right, go ahead. COVID and house fire. Like I don't know why. Go I'm ahead. Weird. Sorry, you're correct. Thank you. Anyway, what was I going to say? You were saying that it was stripped away from us. And that's yeah, like, no, like COVID and like our house fire. It was like honestly one of the most rough years of our lives. But I honestly think I look back and I enjoyed it the most because I feel like I learned the most that year. Yeah, I agree. Like actually like it was the most like learn from your mistake. You got to get up. shot down or stand back up. Whatever that means. All right, Mr. Country. Mr. Country, man. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know. I think we should cover a country song. Like, okay, okay next yeah. topic. Do you know what I'm saying? That'd be kind no. of hard. If we acapella it all in the mics at the same time. No, no, no. Can we all sing the same thing at once? Dude, no. I miss being a kid. Like, I wish I had okay, I am I a kid. I can't the sob story. Like, you're growing up. No, I'm not. I wish I had, like, like you know, popsicles at the park. Like You can do that still. Dude, what I know is always annoying as triplets is, like, when... I just want mulch between my toes. Yes. Oh, my God. Or just dirt. At the park. I was joking. No, for real. Okay, like, you can do park. these things, though. Yeah, but I want to effortlessly just get all dirty at a park without anybody looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, like if, I was, <laughs> if I was eight and I ran through the sprinkler, slipped on some grass, like, you'd be like, oh, that kid's having fun. But if I did it now, they'd be like, this kid's... So go be weird. Don't say it like, <laughs> like that. The, I mean, I feel like a lot of the times that youthfulness is brought out of me is if I do anything but with a Capri Sun. Yeah, if you're feeling like this, I'd just bring a Capri Sun to a lot more places. (laughs) Honestly, might be the key. I agree. Like anything you do with a Capri Sun, instantly just feel youthful. Yeah, like I feel like 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 the fountain of youth got Pacific Cooler running through it. You (laughs) know what I mean? There's no water. This was the fountain uh, of youth being water is a myth. It is Pacific Cooler Capri (laughs) Sun. That is like probably my favorite thing you've ever said. (laughs) Thank you. Like Like, I'm not even joking. No, it's true. Like actually I've never been more happy. Like if I'm feeling old, the first things I'm gonna do is throw on Nickelodeon, like a Nickelodeon show. Yeah. And drink a Capri Sun. It's like SpongeBob effect kind of SpongeBob and a Capri Sun, tell me you don't feel eight. Mm -hmm. That's honestly Nick, that's huge. (laughs) Don't do that (laughs) shit. Do you want it I just remember (laughs) about SpongeBob and Capri Sun? How much time do we got? Enough. Oh my god, but it's taking us really off topic. It's gonna be a whole lot of no, Is this the lady? Yes. Not this video. Yes. Not this This podcast. could easily be Rama right yes, now. Yes, yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I when we met Chris, we were like just turned ten because it was the summer. Yeah. And we were we were with our cousins, I think. No, in, we weren't. In Florida. Were they not in Florida at the Wait, same time? Wait, I think we're us? talking about something totally different then. No, 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 no. Cause this is like segueing into it. Like when we turned ten, did we or did we not go with our cousins to Florida? We were with our cousins in Florida, and then we got back from Florida, and I think it was still the summer, and we were ha- we had so much fun with our cousins in Florida, we were like, we want to do more with them, you know what I mean? So my mom and our uncle were like, okay, let's bring all the kids to the aquarium. Me and Chris are on a full different no, story than you not. are. Yes, we are. No, you're not. totally different. Yes, we are. We were going to the aquarium that day, when we were all eating the crazy lady and shit. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. We were all going to the aquarium, and my mom... My mom has one brother who has kids that are our age, so they're their cousins. We I do thought we were with. sick and didn't go to no. school. No, no, we were going to the aquarium with our uncle and cousins. Oh, for sure. But so okay. we were, our uncle and mom planned out like, oh, we're gonna go to the aquarium with your cousins, and we were like, oh, awesome, amazing. And this was, oh, we were younger than ten because Grandpa was alive, because he's a critical part of the story. Okay, yeah, he yeah. is. So we were like, maybe it was our ninth birthday. I don't know. But anyways. Um, our grandpa used to just show up at our house before he passed away. Like he would always just come over and ring the bell and then be like, Oh, grandpa's here because no one had any responsibility. You know, my mom was like, 
a stay at home mom with us, so she wasn't at work, and then we weren't if we weren't at school, we were mostly home, so he knew that he could just show up. So the doorbell rang, and I I trotted downstairs. My mom was, was in the sitting, shower. My mom was in the shower, and, and my I dad was in bed. Downstairs, dad was not home, right? Dad no. was in bed. No, he wasn't home. He, he was, was definitely he was a not hundred percent. I think upstairs. he's at work, but that's okay. Yeah, he definitely wasn't home. Whatever. His mom would have woke him up immediately. Go ahead, Nick. But anyways. I went downstairs because I heard our doorbell ring. I was like, okay, Grandpa's here. And me, Matt, and Chris, such idiotic children. No, just of, you. No, no, because of how often. Just you. Because of how often, like, my mom's family would just come over, I'd walk downstairs, just unlock, unlatch the front door, and walk back up. Like, not really look outside to check. I would look outside so, every time. So, I every went to time. check if it was Grandpa. No, but I did look. I just remembered. I looked outside, and I saw that it wasn't my friend Grandpa, but it looked just like one of my mom's friends. What are you saying? You said my friend grandpa. Did I? I tried to. Yes. I, I tried no, to he, he looked out I the looked window. I looked outside and I saw that it wasn't my grandpa, but it looked just like my mom's friend. So I was like, oh, okay, like mom's friend is here. I don't know why, but like I'll let her in. So I just unlatched the door and I go upstairs. So this lady is like, oh, it's so nice to see you guys. How are you? And I said, oh, good. Like we're going to, we're eating cereal upstairs. Like come on in. And I, mean, I go upstairs, we're eating cereal. And this lady walks into our living room and she starts playing music and dancing around, and she has like two bottles of wine, and she left them at the front door. And she's that in a bikini and too. No, 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 no. She was talking to me, my and Chris. We were like, "Hi!" And like, and did you guys think anything weird at that point or no? No. Like, you I, guys I, thought I, it was, I, was off how talkative she was. Like, me was too. Because like, I was like ten, bro, or eight, whatever. Yeah. So I don't know. But shit. we all thought it was just my mom's friend. It, yeah. And so I, I was definitely like, "Whoa, what is this lady doing?" Yeah. So my mom yells from. I'm gonna give my mom's friend a fake name because I don't want to use her real ones. So Let's say it was like Sally. My mom yells from the shower and goes, oh, like, is grandpa here? Because she heard the door ring and thought that, like, grandpa came. And I went into the bathroom while I was in the shower. I was like, no, Sally's here. And mom was like, what the fuck is so Sally? Why is, like, why would she mind if, like, show one up? Of my, my mom's friends with the lady. She was just like, she was oh, just she like, just why wasn't expecting show up? Yeah. yeah. So, so we go, I go back out of the bathroom that my mom was showering in. And my mom starts rushing to get done because she's like, Sally should not be there. So I go out with Matt and Chris. And this lady takes off like her trench coat that she had on, and she was in a bikini. Yeah, in, in our living. And room. then she, we had like a we had like a radio system on like the side of, the, of our TV, and she starts playing it, put puts it on full blast. And me, Nick, and Chris are sitting on the couch, or in sitting sitting on the shock, floor, sitting on the sit, sitting on the floor eating cereal, like, watching SpongeBob, line, like, just scooping cereal. That's how we used to do shit. Like yeah, we had, like three little. We used to bring a towel bowl. into the living room, Ooh. put them. Cereal bowls on the floor and eat off the floor. Yeah, and like watch weirdos. TV. And we we used to love it. But she turns no, yeah. the radio on and she like gets in front of the TV that we're all watching and starts dancing with a bottle of wine in her hand and, and in her bikini. And we we're like, "What are you doing?" And then so my mom comes out and is like, "Hello, you need to leave." <laughs> like essentially right away. She's complete stranger. Complete stranger. Not my mom's friend. And I was like, "You need to leave." And then so she beelines it into like the straight into it. We have straight into like the computer room though. Yeah. yeah. So. My mom called the police, and then the police and ambulance people got there, and the paramedics, and the paramedics immediately were like, okay, Mary Lou, like, you're good. Like, we know who this lady is. And so, apparently, it was, like, this local lunatic, and they were like, oh, are you, like, taking your meds? And she, like, the second the paramedics and the police got there, she, she stopped talking. to talk. She, like, was she like, said she, was, she, said she was paper. mute. They got her a piece of paper and a pen, and they were like, oh, where are you from? And she wrote, over the rainbow. Or something like that. And they were like, what's your name? And she was like, Bob Marley. And then they were asking other questions. And she was just writing crazy things on the paper. Like, fuck you. Just like crazy shit on the paper. And they eventually asked, like, oh, are you on your meds? And she was like, no. And then they ended up leaving. And that was the whole thing. We never went to the aquarium. That was the craziest experience ever. Because we like, still I bring that up to this day. we let a random human being into our home. And we hung out for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Really Mom crazy. Was, did a really good job. She of, like, did not letting that escalate, though. Yeah. No. Yeah. She did. Great. Well, I don't know why you never like looked out the window before. No, it was the door. completely my. It's fault. literally yeah. Like, it was number like one hundred and one of like kids like don't yeah, fucking completely my don't talk to, talk to strangers. Completely my fault. Yeah. yeah. I just thought that it was grandpa, and I looked, and then it looked like mom's friend Sally. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna let her in. When do you think you're gonna stop liking your birthday? Well, clearly you already do. Yeah. Yeah. I feel okay with my birthday. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, I don't, to me, it doesn't matter because, like, it, it, it holds no weight in my eyes. I agree. It's like know? a very flip of a coin thing. Like, I think the things about birthdays are cool. I think it's fun. But it's like, I could, I don't really, like, enjoy being the center of attention all the time. Like, the whole. 20 is just a big age to me. 
And like, I feel like 21 is going to be cool, 22, whatever. But like, once you get to like 25, like, you're just, you're like old, in my opinion. That's crazy. Like, at least how I'll feel. Like, no, I'll I just, just really don't want to be 30. Old. I feel like 30 is just like, oh my God. 30 so old. 30 not so old. I just don't want to no, be No, I'm just 30. saying, I'm not calling these people old. I'm just saying, like, in my opinion, when I turn 30, I'm going to be like, holy God, get me a cane and a rocking chair. Like, I need to just okay, sit down. Okay, you're dramatic. So dramatic. No, legit, but that's how I'll feel. Mm-hmm. Do you think you're ever going to forget what age you're about to turn? I already no. do. I already do. I feel like... I always forget. People are going to be like, oh, how old do you turn this year? I'm surprised I'm not saying like 17. No, I'm always it. wrong. <laughs> I'm always wrong. Like, I just can't. Yeah. I it... feel like I'll... I don't know. That's a tough question. Okay. It's really not that tough. It's what if I get Alzheimer's? I don't know. Okay, dude. Well, like... hopefully that happens by the time you're like 90. So it's like you're probably going to already have forgotten your days. How often do you remember like your friends and family's birthdays? Um, more than mine. No, that's insane. That's insane. I know Nathan's is like August 9th. Oh, I thought you were talking about like their birthday events, like what we did. Like, I why the saying, like, fuck would we talk remember? about that? I don't know. I meant like actual birthdays. Like, I'm really good I at know, remembering I birthdays. I always forget but... dads. Ah, January I know, 25th. I know it was the 25th, but the, it's in the J month, so it always confuses me. So is See, mom. I'm like, mom's June 3rd. I'm usually though, like, really, yeah. really good at birthdays. My favorite part about being friends with creators as well is if I forget, I can just Google it. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's always clutch. Yeah. I don't think I could tell you Maddie's or Laura's. I know Maddie's in April. Oh, no, Lara's I could tell you Laura's because it's right after our mom. Maddie's April, like, 19th. April 21st. Okay, yeah. April 21st, for sure. Yeah. And Shane's in October. Yep. Waylon is in September. I don't know Waylon's because I know he's just, like, just younger than us. Or, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know I'm that. usually good as fucking I birthdays, I suck though. at them, dude. Like, I actually have to really remember. Like, I know us three, and that's it. Like, I, I'm Nathan. But other than that, I really suck at just, like, remembering birthdays. Like, I'm really bad at it's it. It's okay. The, the number one thing that gets me is the Snapchat cake. Like, that's how I remember people's birthday. That's unreal. Like, I'll, like, scroll down. No, and, and like, another see thing, it. too, though, with, like, especially in, like, the modern day and age, like, the people who post, like, countdowns for their birthday and shit. Like, I know it's coming, you know? That, that way I don't forget. And someone's like, my birthday's 30 days away. It's like, okay, you're uh, embarrassing. I hate birthday month and week Dude, people. Dude, I, I wrote that down. Like, birthday month or it's my uh, birthday week. And it's like, no, you're so... Get un- a grip. No, you're like, so figure it out. Like, you really don't have... You, you really crave attention that much that you're not getting in your it's day-to-day like, life. It's like, oh, it's my birthday week. That shows, like, the lines of where our friendship is going to end. Like, if you're going to a dinner with, like, a different group of friends every single night for the week of your birthday, you're crazy. I just think it's so dramatic because it's like nobody should care that much. It's like birthday week. What are you being elected as an ex president? Here, here's my thing. It's ridiculous. Okay, here's my thing. Birthday month is insane. Look, listen, listen. I fully, there's three people are going to be like, oh my God, that's still insane. And I agree. There's only three possible birthday activities that can slide. And then once you break those three, you are doing way too much for your birthday. You can do a dinner with just family. Another dinner with just friends, like your closest friends, and then you can have a party that everyone's at. Or just an overall vacation to cover all three. I agree. But if you're if you're doing more those three three things are already insane if you're doing all three of them. No, I don't think that that's insane. I think it's it's, I I think think that sometimes when people get older a little like I think when people get older, they use birthdays as an excuse to just like get the family together. You know what I mean? Like when you're seeing your family less often, people If you're doing more than that, you know, you're crazy. I do crazy. I think there's kind of like a a, like a level to it. Yeah. You know? I just can't with gift expectors. If it's like your if your birthday comes around and you're like, oh, what you get me? Like, I, just, I try It's not even so a gift hard. expector. It's ungratefulness. Yeah. Ugh. Like, if you got something to say about your birthday and you're just like, like, oh, the me, me, me is like, it's my day. Like, oh, oh grow the it's fuck my up, day dude. is crazy. Like, literally grow up. People or, are like, or the, so can you selfish. do this because it's my birthday? Hate it. I would have done it anyway. That's oh. the thing that bothers me. If someone asked me a favor, I'd do it anyway. People that ask, like, 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 hint at gifts they want. Oh. I'm always, I'm like a huge, like, Oh, like, what are we eating? And I'm like, oh, it's so and so's birthday. Let's let them pick today. And like, yeah. you know, you throw it out there. That's a good one, right? But it's like, if, if you're gonna go out to eat anyway, just let like whoever's exactly, birthday is exactly, exactly. But it's like the whole like, I'm gonna, we're gonna go to this restaurant. Everyone's gonna eat this after we're gonna get this dessert, and then we're gonna go th- like, yo, oh my god, I birthdays can't that are too, believe birthdays I that this. are too thought out is like, I can't believe I you're forgot doing too this. much. One of the best things about birthday parties. What? 
I'm waiting for one of y'all to realize. Okay, we're not going to do it. Goodie bags? It's right Goodie there. bags? Goodie bags. I love the goodie bag. At the bag. end, everyone leaves a little goodie Electric. bag. The best thing about a birthday Electric. party ever. Like, you leave with, like, handy a little well, snack. Well, like, you just had such a fun day, and you bring a little party with you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, oh so my God. fun. The goodie bag, like, was crucial to the birthday party. Goodie bags remind me of when, on Halloween, like, getting, like, trick-or-treating. Like, same vibe to me. No. 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 Trick-or-treating is one candy per house. Goodie bag is, like, a full And trick-or-treat, you're, like, putting an effort in. Trick-or-treating, like, I always think of, like, when people used to, like, try and give, like, raisins or toothbrushes out. Oh, Go fuck yourself. You're annoying. That live. So annoying. Just live. Like, oh my god. I can't. That one I really dentist. Can't. I wonder the overhead of, like, buying full bar, like, candies for kids. I'm gonna do that when I'm older. I definitely am. But I was thinking about it, like, how- I wanna be like that, like, they're like, oh, you gotta go to that street. Cause they can- uh, How often do they really, like, like, give, like, full bars of, like, how, like, how many, like, if you bought full bars of candy, how many would you have to have to, like, give to these little kids? Like how many kids do you think on average? Yeah, like on average, how many kids do you think go ring a bell to your house? It totally depends neighborhood, weather, everything. There's way so many. There's yeah, there's way too many like alternative things that could happen. The max you're gonna get in like Massachusetts, where we're from, two hundred, three hundred a night. Yeah, what three hundred houses? Yeah, Yeah. that's insane. No, 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 three hundred people per one house. Oh, you're like really not understanding anything at all. Like, and it's crazy. What a shame. Just just explain it and I'll be good. We we are. That's I, the problem. I got it anyway, go ahead, Chris. It's crazy that there's like neighborhoods that like people know. Like, like that's the Halloween neighborhood. That's weird to me. Mm-hmm. Like why? They just go all out. Yeah, but it's crazy. Like I don't know. I'll I'll never like Halloween as much as some people do. I love Halloween. I know too much. No, just the vibes. Like I don't even like Halloween. I like the fall. I like the leaves falling out. I like pumpkins. I like pumpkin pie. I like hay. Hey. Scarecrows. All right, Chris, oh, go I ahead. Love next Halloween. Mm, I like I'm scary my movies bad. and Frankenstein. All right, Nick. Isn't it crazy? Like your golden birthday is like it's like when you turn. Matt, get off your phone. I'm not. On, I'm looking at the thing. It's when you turn your age on your day. Day. So like, if your birthday was like September 22nd, when you turn 22, it's your golden. Dude, our golden birthday. birthday was when we were one. Kind of hard. Like I love that. Yeah, it was a little lit. Like, bro, park, our like, first birthday was our golden birthday. Like, that's kind of cool. Everyone's golden birthday has to be at least under their 31st. No that is shit. true. Obviously. I can't believe leap year birthdays. Oh, my God. It's like you're, like, four years old, and you're me. I love that. What? You know what I said. It's four. Four you years. You're four years old, it's, and you're me? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like Nick's age. Like, every four years is a leap year. I would just give myself the day before. Well, most people do, but, like, yeah. Imagine if they, like, followed that for, like, the legal drinking age and shit. Nick, like, you wouldn't be able to you, drink until you were, like, 120. Nick, yeah, that's not if true you were born, That is. If 120, Nick, Chris, you're Chris, ridiculous. Chris, if we were born... A leap year only happens every four years. If we were born on Correct. a leap year, we'd be turning five next week. Yeah. What? That's what I'm telling you. It's every four years. Four, eight. You're ridiculous, 16, both of you. By the time 12, you're Four, three. eight, 16, I'm going to aim to have my kid on a leap year. That's crazy. I want to set them up. I like, didn't I like the word aim either. Yeah. yeah no, that's weird. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. Okay. What was I going to say? Oh, like astrology and shit. Astrology. Astrology. Well, because we're already talking about birthdays. I'm like, I don't buy it. Astrology is not real. It's just weird I don't to me. Well, I'm not it. denying that astrology, like the stars aren't real. I'm denying that it has an effect on how the way people act. Well, us three are very similar, like, but we I, also I love are very fucking different. People telling them I'm a different sign, and they're like, "That makes so much sense." Or like when people ask me, "My Chris, our signs," I love saying different ones. That's honestly so so funny because people will come up to us and be like, "Oh, what's your guys' sign?" And like we'll each answer a different one, and they'll be like, oh, like "That makes so that much makes sense so for much each sense. of you." Like, it's like we're born within two milliseconds. Like, of girl, each other. we have the same birthday. Idiot, moron. If planets fucking flew in two minutes, then like I don't even know what you're saying. Like I don't know. I don't. Like that, I know what you were saying, but I don't buy like the like. I see. My thought is, I don't, I don't believe in like astrology in the sense of like it makes sense. Like, oh, if you're a Leo, but I believe in like everything happens for a reason, and I do think that like, like there's so many things that go into effect. Like you're born at the time you're born to like make sense for like what's going to happen in your life. Like I believe in all that crazy shit, but I don't believe that it, it actually plays an effect in like how driven you are, how confident you are, how emotional you are. Like that is just unreal. It's all malarkey. 
Correct. This might be a very Leo thing of me oh, to say. Oh okay, my god. But if lying. you if you fully judge someone and have like a different opinion of them because of your sign, please fuck off. Please. He's begging for it. Just please. Fuck the fuck off. Nick, you made me write this down on our little brief thing. Oh god. Being born while there are other people around you that's older. Like, what does that even make sense? Do you want me to tell you that? Yes, like, I'm so confused. So, for me, my thought process is whenever, like, if I get mad at mom, right, okay. for example, if, I, if I'm ever upset with mom, I just think, like, she was already older than me when I was born. Now, I know that's obviously a common fact. But if you think about it, she's just the same person she was when she was our age. And she's just still alive from that point, you know? Like... Think of, like, how much you know and, like, some people who are having kids at, like, 25, 26. That's you in five years from now. Oh, don't Do say that. Do you think that. you're going to be fully equipped to have a kid? You know what I, I mean? I think that like, I you're could've... still going to be prone to make mistakes What's the when youngest you're 25? you think you could like, have I a just kid think and, like, like, actually be there in his life and, like, raise the kid? Right now if I had to. Yeah, me too. But I just think of, like, I just think of that and it's, like, it blows my mind that it's, like, all these kids, like, and I'm a victim of it, too. Like, I'm constantly being unreasonable. And I'm saying, like, like I feel bad because I'm, I'm unreasonable to people like my mom or like my grandpa. I mean, my grandma or my dad. And it's like, bro, they are literally just still alive from when they were born. And that's the only experience they have. Like, no one is going to ever be fully equipped to handle the emotions, to handle, like, the actual, like, things that yeah you like have it's to weird because like everyone on this adult. planet while well, it does make sense now that you're saying it right because it's like once once you're born everyone that's on the planet with you like no matter how older or how much younger like we're all in the same lifetime no because like if you think so about weird. it like, if your parents had you at like 30 you're born and you just think of them as like this adult this 30 year old but right before you were born they lived only 30 years that have shaped them to where they are. They're still learning things. They're still not fully equipped to like handle the emotions that you might go through. You might be born, and by the time they're 50 and you're 20, you might experience something that they've never experienced before. Yeah. And they don't have the facilities they have to like handle what you're going through. Yeah. And that's why I don't believe in like cutting like like people who get super upset with their family if their family's like not like super like understanding of what they're going through because it's like we're all just people who like haven't experienced that at yeah, all and there's a difference like people that are older that are like fucking like 90 that are still like homophobic and shit it's like all right buddy like yeah you can grow time up. time to grow up and my thought is it's all about how much effort you want to put into it you know what i mean like, I always like, think if you're older like, and you're like oh it's a part of my generation it's like just put some effort into making it not 100 like, if you just put a little bit of thought into yourself you can like, it's like buddy well let's look how much of your generation is here yeah, seriously, fucking. What I was gonna say, Penny and Hazel died last week. It's like it's your turn. Get the fuck out of here, you old fuck. All right. Um, what I was gonna say, Matt is like, do you know how like when if Nick played like an older song, mom and dad are like, you know this song, like the, the like. Yeah. I wonder what that's gonna be like when we're older. Your it's kid's gonna, gonna be super bass and Beauty and a Beat. Imagine if like, oh, imagine if like my kid walks in playing like Yeet. Oh my god, I'd I be can't so wait for like amped. in thirty years when like teen girls are wearing like One Direction shirts. Like it's vintage. Oh. <sighs> It's already vintage. They died no, like month years ago. But it's like not vintage. Somebody's gonna it's wear like, a gonna let's trip. Like, oh somebody's gonna wear a let's trip hoodie and it's gonna be vintage. That's All actually that I actually is beautiful right there. Is a beauty and a beauty. Do y'all wanna hear some fun facts about They'll birthdays that I have? Bring it to us. Complete. Here's my one little disclaimer. You need to shut up, please. Thank okay. you. <laughs> um I Googled these. So if these are incorrect, Google's incorrect, not me. Let's hear it. More people have their birthday in August than any other month of the no year. No fucking way. Is this a true or false question, or is that a fact? It's a fact. No, I feel like October, there's like a jillion birthdays in October. Well, because followed by March, blank April, and May, blank. June, what July, do you think the other? August, September, October, November. Nope. What? I thought it was November. October. Nope. I thought it was November because of Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of people fuck August is 9%. Nine percent of that's what? the most is nine percent of birthdays are in August. That's the most. Yeah, I feel like the most got to be like fourteen percent. No, nope. What? what about what about what about September? September third. What, what about December? Nope. What about January? Nope. June? Nope. July? Yep. July? Yep. Pop them firecrackers on me. What's that song? Or is that um, <laughs> crazy? It's like the line. 
Okay, go ahead, Matt. What? This kid's seeing ridiculous. What May? Day? May? No. Go. Nick, it's fucking February. I answered the question. Matt, no, I'm talking about no one's fucking in May then. Matt, go. Okay. It's also like, it doesn't have to be exactly nine months. Uh, it's usually about nine yeah, months. Usually, we weren't nine months. Yeah, but this is like average. Go, Matt. This is freaking me out. Um, Guess what day of the week the most people are born on? Gotta be Wednesday. No. Friday. No. Gotta Saturday. be Saturday. No. Tuesday? Monday? Tuesday. What? I got it. All right, those are my three fun facts. Hope you. Wow, those, those were, were very fun. fun. Tuesday? Give me a high five. All What's right. What's with it in Tuesdays? Let's. Can let's, you stop? Let's You're wrap this up. You're making me uncomfortable. I'm, I'm just talking about being born on a Tuesday. All right, everybody. That was a good episode. It was. Yeah. Happy birthday. So. Tis the season. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to me. You all do what I say. You. It's my birthday month. It's Happy my birthday year. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday. Day. You sound like the Happy bitch for elephant per se. You know that that's voiced by Tori Kelly, and Tori Kelly just recently got hospitalized because something yeah. happened. Who's Tori Kelly? She's a voice that elephant. I feel horrible. No, that's really like sad. something happened. She's in the doctors. I oh, hope she's okay. Oh, I'm really like wishing well. I was for so her. upset. I saw it on the news. Prayers for her. Seriously. Thank you guys for tuning into the Cut the Camera podcast, episode seven. If that is posted at episode seven, and we love you all and appreciate it. Thank you so yeah. much. New episodes coming soon. Yeah. Tour coming soon. Socials, all that jazz. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you.